What's up guys, back with another educational video and this week we're talking about adrenal fatigue. But first, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment for the algorithm. And now, adrenal fatigue does not exist. Sorry, spoiler alert, doesn't exist, completely made up, bullshit. Now, I wanna read off to you a list of symptoms of adrenal fatigue. So this has been a illness proposed by naturopathic doctors, which by the way, if you ever want to go to a doctor, spend money to have them then tell you that you have a problem, even if you don't, and then they can sell you the solution, go to a naturopath. So not all naturopaths, there could be some good ones out there, but I haven't met any yet. I guess they could exist like unicorns and you know, that sort of thing. So here's a list of adrenal fatigue symptoms. Fatigue, energy crash. Aren't those the same things? Depression, anxiety, poor sleep, lightheadedness, frequent lengthy infections, hair loss, reliance on caffeine, joint pain, brain fog, weight gain, weight loss, craving carbs, craving salt. That's a lot of unrelated nebulous symptoms like brain fog. I'm pretty sure every person in existence I've heard say at some point, oh, I feel like I've just got brain fog. Yeah, you slept four hours last night. You don't have adrenal fatigue, you are fatigued. But I think a lot of people get upset because when I say things Things like adrenal fatigue doesn't exist, which it doesn't. When I say things like this, people think what I'm saying is you made up your symptoms and your symptoms aren't real. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that your symptoms aren't real. I'm saying your symptoms probably are real and they have absolutely nothing to do with your adrenals. So adrenals secrete what's called cortisol, which is a stress hormone. If you secrete high amounts of cortisol, you have something called Cushing's. And people who have this, need to get medical treatment. If you secrete too little cortisol, you have what's called Addison's and you need to get treatment. And trust me, if you had these things, you would know because you would be having very distinct, very specific side effects, not a bunch of nebulous crap. Unfortunately, a lot of people, naturopaths, chiropractors, and even some physicians who suck at their job and need to find a way to make money, promote the idea of adrenal fatigue so that they can sell you adrenal recovery programs and adrenal supplements. Get sleep, exercise, don't eat too much. And I promise you most of these symptoms will go away unless you actually have something wrong with you. Again, not adrenal fatigue, but if you get diagnosed with adrenal fatigue and you actually have something wrong with you, God forbid like cancer or something else, a serious disease, if you get diagnosed with adrenal fatigue, now you're gonna get a bunch of worthless supplements that aren't gonna do anything and it's gonna just mask your ability to treat the actual root cause of the problem. So again, adrenal fatigue does not exist. Cushing's exists, Addison's exists. There is absolutely no evidence in the scientific literature demonstrating that adrenal fatigue exists. The more you know. All right guys, that's it, if you want, you can check out the citations. In this case, it's just a citation, and the citation literally says adrenal fatigue does not exist, which I think is freaking brilliant. Click the links in the description. If you want to actually get real research breakdowns to help educate you so you can be armed against BS like this, make sure you subscribe to Reps. Click the link in the description. Every month we review five articles that deal with nutrition and fitness, and we break them down in a way that's palatable and easy for anyone to understand. It's gonna increase your knowledge, can help you become a human BS detector. We think you'll love it. Tons of people have already signed up, so click the link in the description, sign up, and I'll catch you guys next week.